youth runner here at the 44th ASICS Mount Carmel Invitational, winner of the Division II Girls Junior Race. Lillian Jarrett from Mission Bay, 1943-1. That move in the second mile was like so inspiring. Uh, I mean, obviously the goal is to be patient early and you know not take yourself out of the race and then you know really, uh, really uh, you know, work uh, uh, the second half. But I mean, you created so much distance and such a you know, significant gap in such a short span of time like how like, how powerful you know uh, you know how, how forceful did that did that feel it took a lot but it felt really good to get that gap i knew that pain is only temporary so i gotta keep pushing until i finished strong uh, the, uh, the fact uh, that you know it's only september 21st and you're feeling that you know, uh, that good. The, you know, the fitness is uh, is at that level. Like for you to not only have the, the confidence and the trust in the training, but then you know the, the belief that you can execute it at that point in the race. Like how encouraging is that? How optimistic does that make you? I'm really happy about my result, and it makes me feel really good since this is my first ever cross country race. Just in, uh, in, in in terms of like how things have been building up for this, like you know, so many you know firsts in your high school career, so many firsts in your athletic career. What was the what was the anticipation like for this first? I really didn't know what time to base off because I've never done a three mile time trial. So my goal was just to stay with the top runner and get a feel for the race. And then once I felt the right moment to start that kick, branch off a little bit and keep that pace all the way through. How much have you really been trusting in your teammates, you know, friends, leaning, you know, leaning on coach, you know, the people that have the experience, the insight, the perspective and whatnot, you know, just, uh, uh, just like, hey, if it turns out great, then we'll build on it. If it, if it turns out average, we'll, st like, we'll still build on it. But like, how much have you been really re relying on them just to be like, hey, you know, we're not going to put too much emphasis on it, but we're also, you know, not going to put any emphasis on it because it is a competition after all. Yeah, I have a big support system for my coach and my teammates, and at the end of the day, they keep me going. That's my, I do it for them. So in terms of the way that you, like, if we're talking about, like, in practice this week, Lillian, or, or even on the starting line, the way you thought you would feel in the third mile, the way you thought you would feel, you know, up, up Upas Hill, and then the fact of, like, how you actually felt, how did reality match up with what, with what was in your mind? I don't know. It was just a big mental battle. Sometimes my mind clears when I run, so it was just exciting to finish all the way through and finish strong. Most definitely. Uh, the, now the fact that, uh, that y like you have this to kind of draw on, right? You know, there's just so many things that you can kind of like, you know, take segments and, uh, and and certain aspects. Like, you know, again, much like you know, learning a new sport or you know. You know, learning a, a, an instrument, or you're learning a new subject in school, or whatever. Like, how excited are you to apply you know the, the, that wisdom that you've gained now to more training and more races? I'm super excited to see what the future has for me, and I'm just really excited to see what happens. Fantastic. Uh, we're not going to get many better debuts than uh, than this one. 1943-1 Division Two Girls Junior Race. If she retired tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she's undefeated for her career. Thankfully, she's not going to. Uh, and hopefully, we're going to see uh, more greatness here in. November uh, when she competes in another first, her first section championship uh, at Bubba Hall Park. Lillian, stay healthy. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much.